Um, so my testimonies are about faithful in prayer. <laughs> yeah. So my testimonies are about faithful in prayer. But to be honest, faithful in prayer would never come as top one when I think of myself among those three. But the miracles in my life just play a convincing role to reassure me that God is so faithful, indeed, to answer our prayers as we stay faithful to Him too. So the first one is the husband. <laughs> with Ying would need another long page to tell. But long story short, we met in Sichuan English camp, and I liked him a lot, though I didn't know anything about him back then. <laughs> Not even if he was married or had a girlfriend already or anything. So I prayed, God, if this is your will, touch his heart first. I would not take any initiative. This seems so impossible. And by the way, I don't even know if he has a girlfriend. So then the next evening, while we were having dinner all together, um, we were sitting at the same table with uh, Pastor Jennifer and uh, Priscilla and Ying and some other people. And Pastor Jennifer and Priscilla, out of nowhere, just shouted, Ying has no girlfriend. <laughs> what they were talking about. <laughs> so there, God just answered my prayer and my doubt in such an interesting way. <laughs> and then, um, then we go back to our own cities. And half month later, he texted me to tell me that he likes me. <laughs> and then two years later, he became my husband. It was a miracle. The second, the wedding. I was food poisoned and laid on bed before the wedding for 10 days straight. And the medicine didn't help much, and I was so sick to do anything. I don't know what to do since changing the wedding date seems not a good option. Jesus, please heal me if it is your will. So I prayed desperately in bed as the big day was approaching, and then miraculously, all the sickness was gone, and I could get up and eat bread in the morning uh, of my wedding day. And if you were there at my wedding, you could see how normal I was <laughs> during the wedding, and maybe even extra energetic. <laughs> so it was a miracle. And then the baby. Dora's due date was March 16th uh, this year. However, we were still expecting her birth one week after the due date. So, uh, but we had a piece during the waiting back then, but obviously the doctor didn't. So she asked me to have another check and told me all the disadvantages of the overdue labor. And I was a bit afraid. <laughs> then the hospital booked me an induction at 8 a.m. March 22nd. I went home and prayed specifically I said, God, I believe in your perfect timing. I don't want to be induced. And I want, <laughs> very specific, I want my water to break before the contra contraction comes so I could have time to go to hospital. <laughs> and then at 1.40 a.m. that evening, March 22nd, my water broke, yet no painful contraction. So we went to the hospital and had a natural birth. Dora was born nine. 40 a.m. in the morning. It was a miracle. Amen. Amen.